Mr. Holden, from when to when did you and Miss Gutierrez live together as a couple in a house that she owned? From uh, October of 2015 until January, February of 2017. And in February of 2017, where did you go, Mr. Holden? I moved to an apartment located approximately 15 to 20 miles away from the residence. Prior to October of 2015, you and Miss Gutierrez were in fact a couple. On and off, yes ma'am. But it was not until she bought this home that you moved in. Yes. Now, you moved someplace else practically immediately. Correct. There are two causes of action that you have. One for making false accusations, I assume, to the police. Correct. One for an illegal eviction, and then you want your property back. Correct. So what I want to know is, what took you a year to figure out that there was an illegal eviction? Didn't take me a while to figure it out. I well, just... what have you been doing for the last year, sir? If you were so aggrieved at being asked to leave the house, yes, which I don't think she denies, she asked you to leave the house, mm -hmm. who put it into your head that that's an illegal eviction? Well, I was not uh, properly served eviction notice. Therefore, I would say that's an illegal eviction. Well, but you weren't a tenant there, sir. You were her boyfriend. You were living in her house. Yes, yes, what makes you think that actually we want to be bothered, courts want to be bothered with your illegal eviction when a relationship doesn't work out and you, your girlfriend, for whatever reason, if it's her house, says, I think it's time for you to go. We're not getting along, we're fighting. I assume you weren't getting along. Correct. And you were arguing. Yes, ma'am. And it's her house. That's correct, too. And, and you think that she has to tolerate it, same would be in your house. I would say the same thing if it was you. I'm not talking gender here. Yes, ma'am. There's a difference if you have a lease and you, to me, if you have a lease and you have your own bedroom and you pay rent regularly and you're not getting along and instead of going to housing court yes, and going through a, an eviction process, she throws you out and changes the locks. But she doesn't want to sleep with you anymore. She doesn't want to clean up after you anymore. She doesn't have any affection for you anymore. Maybe you don't have any affection for her anymore. So I want you to get over illegal eviction. You got it? Perfect. Now. My property is what I'm concerned with. I just then there we go. Now we have, now we have something that simplifies my life. Yes, ma'am. So now I apologize. Very good. So now we have property. Now I'm going to go to Miss Gutierrez. You see how quickly I took care of that? <laughs> piece of business. You weren't getting along. February 2017, you told him to leave. He left some major pieces there because he couldn't strap them on his back or put them in his car. That's a fair statement? Yes, ma'am. All right. So there is some property that you have control over. I want you to list the property of Mr. Holden's that you have control over. Well, his bed, which I was sleeping in, <laughs> a couple of Where TVs. Where is it now? I moved it uh, with me when I moved to Laredo because so, I didn't want to mess up the mattress. <laughs> so, so you have the bed. I have the bed. I have a couple of TVs and some no, other no, things. No, no, no. Let's be specific. Okay. You have two TVs? Yes, ma'am. Two, two, two rather large size TVs. You have those two TVs? Yes, ma'am. Fine. What else? Um, a monitor, a desk, some stuff that was in the garage, lawnmower, Barbecue pit, you know, large things. Well, I have to tell me because we're going to prepare an order. Okay. Uh, Four rims and tires. I don't listen to me. If she misses anything, but don't interrupt me again. Correct. Yes, ma'am. Sorry. Some, yeah, some tires with rims and um, some dishes that his mother had given him. What else? Oh, he, uh, uh, PlayStation with his DVDs and um, I guess it's a, one of those speakers, the surround sound. Did she leave out anything? Sure. Not sure. Yes would be yes, the answer. I think she left out something. She tried to be complete. Maybe you have something else. Yes, ma'am. Then I'll hear you. Yes, ma'am. 